Well, today the 19 Action News Wait to Text campaign is on the road here in North Royalton to prove just how dangerous texting and driving can be. I'm here with Officer John Carl. He's going to put me to the test. That was a... Uh, oh, you just killed a cone. You know you're weaving, right? Oh. Is that, that a ball? Was, it was a little more like a roadway. Okay. Oh. I think I'm in trouble. So, Officer Carl, that wasn't very good, was it? No, it wasn't. I think we had probably five or six chargeable violations in there. And we were driving for less than a minute there. Less than a minute? We were 15 miles an hour or less? My text didn't make any sense. I hit some cones. I hit the ball, which luckily wasn't being chased by a kid. You know, it's embarrassing because I actually did think I'd be able to do this. It's the fact that you're driving with one hand. You don't have your eyes on the road. I was weaving in and out. I, I hit a pylon. I, I hit the ball. Many other things as well. Now, Officer Carl, it's all about safety, and I encourage everyone watching this to take the Wait to Text pledge today. Go to 19actionnews.com and click on the Wait to Text logo. I'm sorry, but thank you. Promise me you're not going to do it again. I promise. The 19 Action News Wait to Text pledge, proudly sponsored by Pat O'Brien Chevrolet. If you text and drive, you're 23 times more likely to be in an accident. Sad, but true, and a huge problem for our teen drivers. So today, the 19 Action News Wait to Text campaign and Pat O'Brien Chevrolet are here in North Royalton to put some high schoolers to the test. We've had a lot of high school students drive through here. They haven't done very well. What do you think that they've taken away from this? I, I think it reinforces the point. It's a learned behavior that they have to unlearn. That texting and driving and talking on the phone while you're in your vehicle is something that we have to get away from. There was a point in time when we didn't have to wear seatbelts when we were driving. This seems to be something that is also going to become second nature as well. I think so. We learned to not drive so fast. We learned to put the seatbelt on. We learned through experience that we had to be more careful. And this is another step in that direction. What, what do you think? That was hard. Got, that wasn't so good. It got a little rough when I, I didn't really have my eyes on the road. I mean, it wasn't very good. I'm sorry. So what do you take away from this, though? You really don't pay attention at all when you text and drive. If I was on the road doing this and I hit something or someone, whole another story. Never, ever text and drive. That is a bad idea. I think I hit a cone and that could have been a person. Keep your eyes on the road and keep your hands on the wheel. That's the best way to do it. Yeah. So who here is going to take the Wait to Text Pledge? I am. Because remember, no text message is worth a life. The 19 Action News Wait to Text Pledge, proudly sponsored by Pat O'Brien Chevrolet. Uh, my name is AJ D'Angelo. I've been driving for about a year and a, a month. I got my uh, license back in April last year. I've texted a couple times at stoplights, um, but that's been about it. I'm a little worried about the, the texting run. I feel like since I don't do it that often, I'm not going to be accustomed to it. I'll probably run over a few cones, maybe go a little too fast. Start it up. Now you're going to obey every traffic rule you would normally obey on the road. You've got signs, you've got painted lines, you have, every, you have a fully functioning car. Go ahead and put it in drive. We're going to just do a dry run here first. Don't forget all your traffic laws. You know, there's a lot of distractions outside the car. There's a lot of distractions inside the car. Signs. You got stuff in the roadway. Uh, here we're going to try to simulate if something was about to come out into your lane. So you have to move over and, and work your way through the cones. No big deal, right? Nope. Yeah, but you're also only doing five miles an hour, yeah. too. Now, this is a serpentine just to kind of simulate a little bit of maneuvering either in a parking lot or in the school parking lot. Now we got some nice road straightaways. And you're going to come up to the fully functioning traffic signal. Left, Left turn. I didn't have enough turn signs, so I apologize. That's okay. okay, when you're ready, go ahead and uh, start driving. All right, now I want you to text your friend that you're going to be there, but you're going to be running a few minutes late. Come on, let's go. Honk, honk. Come on, get that text out. Holy crap! Nice stop. 
Did you hit it? Come on, keep texting. You're going to be late. you got to get to that movie here. There's a police officer. Oh, you better slow it down now. Did you get it off yet? Keep texting. Keep texting. Keep texting. That's it. Keep texting. It's all right. Hey, come on, go back to the text, would you? They need to know that you're going to be there late. Whoa. Keep going. Now, yeah, what I want you to do is, well, keep going. Keep going to the stoplight. You got to the stoplight. And now, you see that last cone there in the end? Yeah. I want you to turn and not hit that cone and go right to where the camera is where Chris Van Vliet is. The last cone on the end. Okay. Hey, it's green. Honk, honk. AJ, what happened out there? <laughs> that got, wasn't so good. It got a little rough when I, I didn't really have my eyes on the road. Um, he, was, he was giving me some rough things to text. He had me typing out like sentences. Um, he maybe used proper too. grammar. It, was, it got pretty rough out there. This right here is uh, one of our fallen soldiers. <laughs> yeah, you, you, hit two, you hit two cones and in the process knocked one of our cameras off the car. <laughs> Oh jeez. Yeah, I knew I knew I hit a couple cones in the 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 S turn back there. Um, I didn't think I knocked off the camera though. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> um, I mean, you and then you bent one cone like completely over. What have you learned from this? Uh, I've learned that uh, you really don't pay attention at all when you text and drive. Um, makes it much more difficult to turn and really understand what you're trying to accomplish while you're driving. I mean, and we also we also missed the fact that you were uh, swerving in between the lanes. You were knocking up some some of the powder there on one of the lanes. All all around, just just not very good. Yeah, um, actually, you know, back there I hit a ball, um, and when I went through the first time, I didn't even know I hit it um, until the officer pointed out. I looked back, and I was like, "Oh, I did hit a ball." <laughs> it got really uh, really bad when I wasn't paying attention to the road. What do you What do you have to say about our camera here? I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs>